and the major reason why my visa would have been rejected is like what happened is entered like passport my irp card my bank statement bank statement guys two major things for your financial document i'm a thirsty crow i need a water i will take these marbles put it into a jar and I, then water will come up i will drink and flew away good morning beautiful people welcome back to living a little today is saturday and we have plans to go somewhere in sligo we have almost explored all the places but still not sure where else to go because the weather is so sunny today it's 12 pm i am making chila like if you are not from india and if you are not sure what chila is it's like a spicy pancake let me know in the comments below which country or which state you are from so let's cook some chila and then we are going to make some lunch and then we are heading to explore some places here in sligo that's our chila this is for our lunch so guys before starting to discuss about the financial stuff let's reach to ben bulben walk and then we'll start the video <laughs> So we finally reached Ben Bull Ben Forest Walk. So the walk is around five kilometers. Let's take the walk and we'll update you how the walk was. So we started from here. We're gonna take the whole thing and go again. So this way is like if you go this side, this is like a two minutes walk. And as I said, we are taking a whole round. So this is a loop. This is 3.5 kilometers, and the time taken is 50 minutes. And there is another loop which is Cashew Loop that's 4 kilometers and it's for 1 hour. Let's take the Ben Loop. Ben Loop. <laughs> thinking it's a travel vlog and i'm not discussing about financial documents so i just wanted to like show you the places around and then you know tell about the things in a in a different way guys two major things for your financial document first thing is you need to show funds for your college or university fee and second one is your living expense so you need to show around ten thousand euros for your living expense so let's say you have submitted your fee so you need to show the bank statement and get the bank signature and the bank stamp for wherever you are submitting your college fees it can be you it can be your parents it can be your brother sister whosoever is sponsoring you need to have a full proof of the sponsor his bank statement his id proof their sponsor letter as well and the second one is like the affidavit of the sponsor so like who submitted your college fees you need to uh, give an affidavit of that sponsor as well next one is bank loan and if you haven't taken a bank loan for your college fees as well as your living expense you need to show the bank loan sanction letter as well so guys this is the part two of the uh, documents required for visa for ireland if you haven't watched the part one the link is in the description below you can first check out the part one and then sort out your financial documents whatever the financial documents you are submitting for your student visa you need to have a six month of proof or a stability for for whatever the funds you are showing my english hindi is my mother tongue and i'm proud of it and the next one is you need to show the income tax return for three years for the sponsor you are submitting the financial documents for if you do not have three years of itr your visa would have your visa would be rejected for that reason as well and if you are going through a counselor you should reach out to the counselor for all the visa documents you have been submitting from the day one of starting your application and in case you're not going through a counselor and still looking for a counselor you can reach out to my counselor he has helped me a lot in all the financial documents and everything to get it sorted the link to the counselor form is in the description below and the major reason why my visa would have been rejected is like what happened is we have funds in two different accounts my father account my own very account while i was under the application process for ireland student visa what my father did is he transferred the funds to my very own account and what he thought is like to keep the funds in one in one account and you know that would have more stability and it would not create chaos but what i had to do is like when i went to my counselor she asked me from where this fund has come from then i had to show my father's bank account and then we have to look out for all his bank statement from past six months to actually show that these funds are stable and it's not like somebody would have deposited the fund just yesterday to my account so that that was a little chaotic we had to reach out to banks we have to get the the bank letter we have to get the bank stamp 
as well to get all the approval and i had to spend around one week to get these things done and my visa my visa appointment was just in next two days so i was really uh, anxious and i was really not sure whether my visa would be approved or not but then i showed all the documents to the concert the concert highlighted those those specific funds which have been transferred from my dad's account to my account so you have to take care of all these financial things when you are submitting and other financial documents which you can show is like mutual funds if you have any fixed deposit in your account so those are like stable funds if you think your parents cannot sponsor visa for you you can still look out for your family abroad or your cousin or brother or sister abroad or bank loans as well you can take so that's really it guys i wanted to tell you about financial document whenever you're applying for visa for ireland that's the major thing you need to take care of i hope and, uh, for my funds when i submitted my funds i have showed a property letter as well so we had to get a letter from the chartered accountant showing those funds as well so you know all this process takes a lot of time so make sure you apply on time and you have ample time when you are applying for your visa visa appointment uh, because all these things take a lot of time you might have to get the affidavit you might have to visit court to get the stamp done so all this process is really time consuming and take around two to three months to get your financial documents sorted before your visa appointment the last thing is your financial summary whatever the documents you are submitting you have to create a summary like just add a columns and list of what you are submitting like let's say i submitted my father's bank statement my bank statement affidavit of sponsor idea for three years all these things as a list so that for the visa uh, for for the visa kaun hote hai wo kya bolte hai unko officer so that for the visa officer it is initially easy to know what financial documents you are submitting and then he can further look on the other documents further in the list so make sure you you submit the financial summary and if you want to know a list of all that helped you a lot now let's complete the walk to the benburland and then we'll head on to the sligo city and if we are eating something in the city we might show you the things around so note these things as well if you are coming to ireland these are small little places which you can explore here and if you want to come to ben bulben walk you cannot come by you cannot come by bus you you either need to take a car and the walk is around 15 minutes or 1 hour it's a really good walk view around here is good we so let's complete the walk and see you guys in the next video so guys currently he has also submitted visa document for his sister uh as a sponsor so let us what all document he submitted and make sure we did not miss anything in the video i have submitted like passport my irp card my bank statement bank statement is the primary thing you just have to show the funds you have and you have to pay the fee after that you must might you like might be having a you must be having around 10000 or 15000 more than that than the fee or fair i have submitted one affidavit that i will sponsor it that was like in india they have made that affidavit and signed it and i don't have much energy that's why i'm talking like this I'm so that's really it about the document so you need to submit sponsor sponsor stuff you need to submit sponsor things as well as the affidavit for them as well so that's really it about the video let's enjoy the walk and head on to sligo city So guys, we finished our forest walk, and as soon as we finished the walk and sat in the car, it started raining. What a timing! What a timing! Then, as usual, we headed on to grocery shopping. So whenever you want to take a trolley, you insert a coin, and that's how you take out the trolley from the trolley stand here in Ireland. Might be new for some Indians. 